I'm uh, Scott Wright. I'm the uh, project manager and engineer of record for the uh, Gold Ray Dam removal for the uh, design build team. Uh, we did the Gold Hill Dam removal together, Slayton Construction Group and River Design Group. We did a design build contract very similar to the contract we have here. And uh, then we also worked together on the Savage Rapids Dam. So we had a lot of experience on the Rogue River. And uh, so it made a pretty natural fit for us to be able to do this expedited project here on the, the Gold Ray Dam removal. So usually dam removal is a multi-year process. Um, fortunately on this project here, we had a lot of precedents already set, a lot of people familiar with dam removal. And since the Savage Rapids, Gold Hill, and Elk Creek dams had all come out in this basin within the last three years, there was a lot of understanding of dam removal uh, in the process for permitting and the agencies were very comfortable and familiar with it. And so we were able to very quickly get through this process with a multidisciplinary interagency team uh, that provided input throughout the permitting process during the environmental assessment and things like that. The interagency team helped out a lot, uh, different uh, people from NOAA Fisheries, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, U.S. Fish and Wildlife, the, in, in all the different agencies were very helpful in uh, coming to a point where we could get permits for this project um, and understanding the impacts of, of what's out here and, and how it would happen. So today we have a, a, basically a, the end of phase one where we have isolated the left hand side of the dam. We removed a, the, about half of the concrete structure and about a quarter of the log crib dam. And then uh, now we'll be draining Tolo Slough, um, which is kind of the end of phase one. And uh, once Tolo Slough is drained and defished, then we will start to work on uh, moving over and transitioning into phase two, which will be isolating the right side of the dam and then letting the river run through the portion of uh, area that where the dam historically was and so we'll have a free running river in about a week and a half. Uh, boy, my, I'm most proud of just being involved with kind of the restoration that's happening in the Rogue River. Um, having been involved with the Gold Hill Dam, the uh, Savage uh, to some degree, and then now the Gold Ray. I grew up on the Rogue River, I grew up in Grants Pass, and uh, get to come back on your home waters and actually do something this significant where you're making this big of a, a improvement to the river for fisheries and even for recreation and for people um, is a pretty significant thing in my life. And uh, the nice thing too is I've been able to bring my kids and my family along uh, on all these projects and they've had a great time just seeing the changes in the Rogue River and, and so now my kids ask uh, which dam are we removing this year dad and so that's a pretty neat opportunity kind of a legacy where you know they'll get to see dams being removed uh, on the Rogue River whereas when I was growing up in, in this area in southern Oregon I was watching them get built. Uh, I watched the Applegate Dam uh, get built and then watch the Elk Creek Dam started you know and, and then halted and so that's what I saw when I was growing up uh, and asked my dad you know what what's the next dam that's going to get built and uh, my kids are asking me the opposite question now. <laughs>